Hi, my name is Renato Vasconcelos. I am the director and the creator of the Brazilian Music Lab. Let me tell you a little bit about my story and why I am planning to be your instructor. When I moved to Brasilia in 74, I was already 15. I started to learn the music theory. And since that, I have been a professional musician, playing gigs, nightclubs, and shows and concerts with big names of Brazilian music. After 15 years as a professional musician, traveling on the road, I decided to go back to my musical studies. And I went to the University of Brasilia where I pursued my bachelor in music education. After my graduation as a music educator, I decided to go to the US to study jazz. The University of Louisville gave me a scholarship. I had the pleasure to study with excellent musicians, including Jamie Abersole, the great publisher. And we became friends and Jamie uh, realized that I could help him in his playalongs doing one volume dedicated to Brazilian music. And we did this. We released the volume number 124, which is called Brazilian Music. Since 2006, I'm part of the IASJ, International Association of Schools of Jazz. And I had the chance to meet musicians, teachers, students, administrators, from all over the globe. Japan, Greece, Russia, South Africa, France, Finland, Switzerland, Sweden, whatever place in this planet that has a jazz school is part of the IASJ. In 2010, while I was a guest artist at the University of Louisville, I was invited by the Dean of the Music Department to be part of an international exchange program that involved FIPSI, the Fund for Improvement of Secondary Education from the American side, and the CAPIS, the same type of institution representing Brazil. So we had students Brazilian students going to Louisville or Cincinnati and students from Cincinnati or Louisville coming to Brazil, stay in Brasilia or Campinas. I am proud and very happy to share with you three testimonials of students who participated in this exchange program. Yay, to the bay. My name is Josh Jessen. Um, I'm a pianist and keyboardist in, uh, based in Chicago. I had the pleasure of studying with Renato in 2012 at UNE Bay, and um, I learned a whole lot about music, especially Brazilian music from him, um, in regards to the piano and just into how Brazilian music functions in general. Um, everything from how the different rhythmic voices play out in your hands, um, to accompaniment methods, uh, comping for people, and, uh, and then just the repertoire as a whole, an understanding of like what a normal gigging musician needs to know what type of music um, and what role that piano plays in all of that, which was invaluable information for me. And, um, and then just learning about the different regional styles as well, Bayon, the Northeast, and a Samba, and, um, and just the different approaches and how that affects uh, you know, your musicianship. And so I um, highly recommend Renato as a teacher and an educator um, and just as an all around great person. So thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Jonathan and I had the honor of studying Brazilian music with Renato Vasconcelos when I was an exchange student in 2011. 
Um, in addition to learning all about uh, Brazilian styles and rhythms, um, I also got to learn a ton about the culture and the history behind this great body of work. Hello, my name is Zach Kennedy. I'm a drummer based out of Louisville, Kentucky, and I've had the great pleasure of studying with Renato Vasconcelos in a couple of different contexts. I was able to take a Brazilian styles course with him at the University of Louisville while he was a visiting professor. And I was also lucky enough to go on exchange to Brasilia, Brazil for six months and be under his mentorship there. Renato has lived and breathed this music his entire life and is able to offer an insider's perspective on how Brazilians feel these rhythms, uh, different songs and tunes that we may not know about, you know, just as a basic example of samba in in uh, Brazil, it's felt two and not in four, like a lot of musicians, especially in the States, will, will feel it in four, but it's mainly felt in two with an emphasis on that beat too. Uh, and going past the bossa and the samba, you know, he knows all about any pepe and uh, the different rhythms there. Uh, Maracatu, uh, Ije Shabi, and a couple different ones that I really remember from my time with him. I've been fortunate enough to not only be mentored by Hinato, but to consider him a friend. I'm also very proud and happy to share with you the testimonials of three of my teachers during my time in the U.S. They all taught me a lot about jazz. But when the door was shut during our lessons, they all asked me, please, tell me something about Brazilian music. I was kind of flattered. So I was very happy to share with them the same way they shared with me everything they could in terms of jazz. Hi, my name is Phil DeGreg. I'm a professor emeritus in jazz studies from the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. And uh, my good friend, Renato Vasconcelos, was my introduction to the world of Brazilian popular music beginning in the late 1990s uh, when I first visited Brazil and played a jam session at his house, which was a great experience. Renato's a wonderful teacher and I've learned so much from him over the years about music. From He's directed me toward him, important Brazilian artists and uh, shown me a lot about the rhythmical subtleties of style, particularly about interpreting the notation from songbooks, understanding two four time signatures, uh, which was not so obvious to me as an American, but now reading Brazilian uh, uh, music in two four is the most natural thing. That's really obvious why it's notated that way to me now. Uh, we've had lots of discussions about the cross currents of uh, both American jazz and Brazilian popular music, uh, both about the uh, history and the sociological aspects as well as the musical aspects. Renato is just a wonderful player and teacher and compassionate human being and I'm so glad uh, he's been a part of my life for the last 20 years. I wish him all the best. Thank you. Hello. I'm here today on behalf of Brazilian Music Labs. Renato Vasconcelos invited me to speak to you today for a minute about some of the subtleties of Brazilian music. Um, fortunately, I had the opportunity to learn from Renato personally and implement some of these styles and techniques into my approach to Brazilian music. Um, as an American, I needed all the help I could get and Renato was very helpful. One of the first things he taught me was the concept of reading Brazilian sheet music in 2-4 time, which as a jazz player, we're so ingrained with the 4-4 eighth note feel that reading in 2-4 with the 16th note notation helped me to lighten up my feel. Um, he also stressed the importance of accenting B2, the sordu beat, and that also kind of also made a lot of sense when I listened back to recordings. I could hear that accent on, stronger accent on B2. Uh, the other thing that Renato was very helpful to me with was the comping rhythms for the bossa nova and the samba, and he introduced me to the partito alto. Now I know there's many, many, many dozens of styles and feels in Brazilian music, but we kind of started with these 
several styles and it was extremely helpful to me. So uh, please stay tuned to Brazilian Music Labs and uh, you will really learn a lot from Hernando. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Mike Tracy and I'm very pleased that my friend Renato Vasconcelos has asked me to say a few words about his new project, the Brazilian Music Lab. Renato and I have known each other for over 20 years as close friends and musicians playing music together, jazz and Brazilian music. I can't thank Renato enough for what he's helped me do to learn about Brazilian styles, Brazilian composers, the bands, how people play, the overall style. It's been invaluable to me. A great example of that is the difference of the time feel. We in jazz feel things in 4-4 with emphasis on 2 and 4. But in Brazilian music, he shared that it's in 2, whether it's 2-2 two, two or 2-4, two, and how the music has a different flow that way, how it has more involvement of the body, and, and the spirit kind of soars when the music is in, in that feeling. So I can't thank him enough. I know if you take his class, you'll find he's a wonderful teacher, a wonderful musician, and somebody who really cares about you learning. So. Enjoy his class. Maybe we'll, we'll be there together. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, you're listening to Anato and I play Surfboard by Antonio Carlos Jobim. We recorded that a few years ago. It's a great pleasure playing with him. Thanks, Anato, and good luck.